Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mustang Mania. And as you can see right now, the car is up on jack stands. And the plan for today is basically to paint the calipers. And this is going to be a how-to video if you guys want to paint the calipers. And here's what we're going to use for that. So, rubbing alcohol to clean it up. Then we have primer. A few coats of primer. Then this is the paint we're going to go with. It's burnt copper color and satin clear coat. That would go good against the chrome wheels. So the car is all jacked up. We've, we've prepped the other side and I'll basically show you how to prep this side now because that was kind of an experience for me. And there you go. The wheel is now off and we're going to tape up all the bolts such as this and then this stuff up, the pads, the back, the lines of the back and uh, part of the rotor using painter's tape. So this part and this part and after that we're going to use uh, painter's bags or garbage bags to cover the rest of the rotor and the rest of the car up and now let's put the painter's tape up. As you can see, the caliper is all taped up and we've put a garbage bag around it so that it prevents overspray. And now we're gonna put the painter's bags on these sides, so here and right here, so that that would stop overspray too. And we'll put a cardboard box under there so that none of the ground is gonna get anything. Now as you can see, we've taped up the exposed part of the brake calipers and used a garbage bag around it. Now we're going to use the painter's bag to cover the rest of the car up. And now it's time to clean and prep the brake caliper for the paint. Here you go. The calipers are now cleaned up. I used bounty paper with rubbing alcohol and an old toothbrush to get into the nooks and crannies. And now when you use a bounty paper, there's no dirt coming up to it. So that means you're good to go to primer. Next step is to lay down two coats of primer. And that's what we're gonna do now. As you can see the first coat of primer has been applied. Now we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll do the second coat of primer and basically we have to do two coats of primer before we go into the paint. As
as you all can see we are done applying the second coat of the brake calipers for the primer and now we have to wait the same about 10 to 15 minutes before going to the paint color and after that we'll basically be doing three coats of the paint and if there are any spots missing we'll do the fourth coat on those spots and here's where we are right now We're done with the first coat and as you can see it's a really light coat you can't even see the color that much you can basically see more of the primer that's what it's supposed to do and the, the more coats you keep putting on the better it keeps on getting but you shouldn't oh, any time like overdo it so after we wait for 10 to 15 minutes we'll apply the second coat that was the second coat of the paint and it's definitely showing more but it's still not covering the whole area as you can see there are definitely some spots of primer visible and if you're wondering I'm doing the front calipers along with this back but I don't want to bore you with the same content so I've done the first layer of paint on this one and that's where we are next is going to be the third coat of the paint for the rear calipers and if I will need any fourth coat I'll see at that moment here we go third coat has been completed it's pretty good there are just a few spots because of which the primer is visible I'll just press on those areas for the fourth uh, coat and it's looking pretty solid right now so pretty happy with the results so far and I just have to wait 10 to 15 minutes before the fourth coat and after that it's gonna be the clear coat We are done with paint on this caliper so we've done basically four coats the fourth one was looking spraying the places that weren't done properly and now do not forget the minimum time you have to wait before going to the clear coat is 30 minutes i'm going to wait between 30 to 40 minutes before doing my satin clear coat and as you can see there aren't many spots left it's looking really good and clean and with the satin clear coat it's going to go really good with the chrome wheels and the blue color of the car now I just have to wait for another 30 to 40 minutes. As you all just saw, that was the first coat for the clear coat. And I used the satin finish from VHT, this one right here. And I'm gonna be doing two more of these. And I won't be boring you by showing you every transition. I'll just do the time lapse for the whole thing. There you go. I'll meet you at the end of it. As you guys just saw, I completed the calipers and they came out really good. I just finished the third uh, layer of clear coat and I'm gonna wait until the morning to sew the wheels back on and I'll leave it overnight for that so that it dries up properly and I'm not supposed to drive it for 24 hours so just keep in mind when you're gonna start doing your calipers but this came out really good. The best part about it is like it's a rare color for a caliper. Can't wait to throw the wheel back on and I'll show you once all the four calipers are completed. It has been a few days since the last clip. Um, I think it's been two days and I let the calipers dry up properly and here they are. I removed all the paint tape and stuff and I'm really happy with the result. There are some missing corners on this exact caliper like the back side but it's not going to be visible because it will be behind the wheel but I'm really happy with the color because it goes amazingly with the blue and the satin finish and yeah I'm really happy about it now I'm gonna throw the wheel back on and take it out for a drive and then I'll show you some nice pictures of, uh, of the whole car before I go out for a drive I wanted to show you how the rest of the calipers look like and as you can see there are tire stickers on the tire you guys are gonna get to see that in the next upload how to put them on and this looks amazing the burnt coppers in satin finish with the blue and the chrome wheels I love how it looks like and I need to drop the car down now and let's see let's go for a drive
the car is on the ground now and it looks amazing I'm 100% sure that's the perfect caliper color choice and I'm so happy with the results it matches with the amber too wow I'm so happy now it's time for a nice four day long cold start I'm here at an empty parking lot right now Everything uh, in the treasury went out perfectly and this looks perfect. That's the exact look I was look going for and looks amazing. Well, I'm going to uh, end this video at this note and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.